Hello YouTube, Woody Forever here bringing you guys another video to the channel. This is um, a very quick version. I'm still working on getting my recording software all set up. This is just a quick for history of the Light of Alara. Long Island Road was founded, I believe, 1834 on Long Island, New York, obviously. And it ran a short shuttle service, shuttle service with trains like WB40, it's also known as the Huntington, right here. No, that's the history of the train. You have a G5S, a G5S class 460. Now call RS3, I think there's a B7 combine thing, a GP38, a D, a D, an EMD, an EMD unit, an EM3, D30AC for, for 16 million. And you have this, the LWS Keystone logo as they were, they were originally their own company, run completely by themselves on Long Island. Then being bought out by the Pennsylvania Railroad, of course. While well, making no app east, I believe east side access tunnels. Here's the WB40. I don't know why there's a bunch of writing there, but then they went to the G5 class 460s, which pictured here is one with the uh, Sunrise Special coal car paint scheme. Then they started switching over to diesel. With well, this is what the piece. This is what the G5 actually pulled a lot of times. P72 cars in the Titchy scheme. Then they started going to diesel. With Alco RS threes, here is the here is Alco four six one. C liners such as two thousand one. See in the background is another G five, right there. This is I believe at Jamaica or Morris Park. Then they also they actually did buy a small fleet of RDC buds for the railroad for like short shuttle sh short shuttle service on like less used branches. They also had Alco FAs FA twos like this. For that went back oh when the meatball logo was around this thing is in terrible shape though with some cars behind it then they also went to use gp38 such as like these ones this one here is seen, seen pulling i believe p72s that are back there this one i believe was actually used for the testing to the c1s prior the the predecessor to the c3s but like kawasaki they also the all of lore also had a bunch of purchases of Metropolitan ones or M ones built by the Bud Company, like the RDCs. These cars were rushed into production when the when the Metropolitan Transportation Authority or MTA was in the process of buying over the Long Island Railroad. This is a shitty photo, I know. I'm sorry for the language. The Wild Level R also had a fleet of MP15s or MP15 ACs that they used in passenger service for a while before strictly using them for freight. Here is a picture of one in the black scheme as well as one in the meatball scheme, MTA scheme from the 80s. The LWR did at one point get another fleet of M, M series cars from Bud, being the M3s. Which the main difference, the main the way you, main way you can tell the difference is these ones, the windows on this one slide horizontally, the windows on the M1 slide vertically. The LWR then, like I said before, these are the C1s, predecessor to the C3s. They were used as a testing module for the C3s. I mean, yeah, C3s to see if they will be awarded to the other island. Here it's shown as a metro, really in a, met, a metro north unit, leased unit with C3s and F4 Jeff Westyard. Then they also had an FA Power Pack car, 3100, which I believe is scrapped, unfortunately. Here's a picture of pulling a train out of, new, out of Atlantic City. Then they bit, then they got the C3s, Kawasaki C3s. This one picture is always to bay. DM, DM 38Cs, DE 38s, but by EMD class. Farewell to the M1s. M1s would fully retire in 2007 following the order of the Bombardier M7s. Funny thing I said that. Anyways, so that happened. Now a, sh a small fleet of M3s is still running due to, to the Bombardier's, of course, lack of being able to supply the cars, the new M9s. So, yeah, the M7s, M3s, M1s. M7s are still in service from 2002 until now. We don't know when they're going to be retired. But with 503 and 511 both being out of commission due to wrecks, LIWR decided to order M9s. But, like I said, because of Kawasaki being Kawasaki, I mean, sorry, well, because of Bombardier being Bombardier and literally failing at getting orders into anybody, they had decided to bring back the M1s. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you have a great day. And don't forget to join my Discord server when you, if you want to chat with me. Have a great day. Peace.